Mr. Sumit, have you connected in through through the phone? Yes, I am I'm connected. Okay. Hello everyone, I think uh, I had some technical difficulty and because of that my whole company internet connection had some problems, so that's why I'm sorry for that. Let me start all over again. Uh, today I will be presenting uh, software testing in Agile methodology and uh, as I said that the Agile methodology is one of the most important methodology in the software testing right now because it is rapid, it is quick and it is a team based. And with this, we are actually helping customers as well as quickly building good software and delivering with the best quality possible. So these are the contents. If you can see my second page, so it, it, these are the contents which I will be covering in this presentation right now. It is the overview of agility, the agile principles and testing, two views of agile testing, whether it is extreme or, or exploratory. There would be a third view also which I will be explaining and the challenges of the agile testing. And finally, I will be covering the test life cycle which we use in the Agile methodology. These are the topics. <clears throat> First of all, I will start with the the, uh, what is Agile testing. So this is the, the diagram which can very clearly explain what is Agile testing all about. First of all, it has values as any other methodology have. So it also have some values, some core values. The other, the other most important Thing which I have mentioned is whole team approach. So this is one of the most important points whenever we are talking about Agile. You need to always understand that the Agile methodology will only be successful if you are working in a team and the coordination between the teams should be very good. And there, there are different ways of creating a team, whether it can be a traditional team in which every team or a group is working on a different task and after the completion of tasks, they are just providing their status in, in the type of mail or something. It may be working in the agile team in which all the teams are working together and sharing their status on a daily basis which we call scrums. So we have a daily scrum. It is not necessary that the agile team would be sitting together at one place. It can, the agile team can be sitting at, at a different location and sharing their items too. Uh, on a phone or maybe on a video conference or whatever, but it is important in Agile that you must be talking daily to each other and send the, uh, send the status. What it actually does that if you are talking about things which are working right now, it gives others the idea of what you are working on and also you get the solution of your problem very quickly. So it is not necessary that you should do a scrum daily. You, it can be done thrice, twice in a week, it depends upon your frequency, but it is very important that you should talk to everyone and tell the status. And the person who is responsible for all this scrum is called the scrum master and the scrum master is the person who will actually gather all the people in, in a meeting and actually ask for the status from everyone and he will actually assign that if for example if I say that okay this is the problem I am having, so he will actually advise me to whom I can contact. Normally a project manager would be a scrum master. In, in different uh, projects you can say. Also uh, a little con contact about the role and the activities which these are also very important. In, in the Agile team it is very important that you assign role with the different people. For example as I said Scrum Master. So it is also a role which has been assigned to a person who is actually responsible for a team gathering at one place and sharing their ideas, thoughts, problems and whatever you have. It may be that a customer also can be part of Scrum a business analyst can be a part of the scrum so that he can actually understand what we have understood from his business requirements, the technical guide and how the developers are working and approaching on it, whether they are going in the right direction. So if they are going in a wrong direction, he can stop them right away so that the cost and the time would be saved for the team and the company. So this is the 
you can say brief description in the terms of diagram of what is the GI testing all about. So this is more you can say <coughs> typical definition of uh, agile testing. The word agile itself goes with the meaning move quickly. So the testing in agile, no convention test, testing practices, uh, test practices are applicable to wait until the entire development cycle activities are completed. So this is also a very important point that in this agile methodology you don't have to wait for the developers to complete their task and then you will start your testing activity just like in waterfall model. It is necessary that you start as soon as the developers start, as the, as the business requirements get increased. We should start working on the test case creation as soon as the developers, developers are starting working on uh, development. So what it do that before the development gets done, we, ha we have already our test cases, test data, as well as we get our test case reviewed. And before the test case execution, everything is ready in front of us. We can also spend some time in term in preparing test environment if there is specific requirement for the test environment. Test environments. And the second point, agile testing has been an evolve, evolving methodology. We have been seeing over the past few years the popularity of methodology has been has been accelerated to the several reasons as the product development life cycle go to market are shrinking in the light of ever changing business dynamics. So these two are the most important things which I have mentioned, the product development life cycle and go to market cycle. These two cycles, if reducing, then it is a, it's always a profit to the company. So you should always try to work on these two cycles. If you reduce these two cycles, then there is always a profit for everyone. And if there is a profit for everyone, it is good for the people who are doing that. So Agile is the methodology is the only one who is actually shrinking both of these cycles and by a good margin. The third definition, agile testing process were implemented correctly and adequately has lots of benefits to offer. In turn, customers will appreciate and result for update and react quickly to any potential problem. As I said that in a team, we are talking in the team and we are talking to each other. We are sharing our problems, the clients, the customers, the business guys. The technical guys all are sitting at the one phase or are sharing their thoughts. So this will actually quickly, we, we are able to quickly react to any potential problem which may come in the future. And this will actually deliver high quality software in a very short duration of time. So the crux of all the definition is the agile as the word indicates. We are, we are actually doing something fast with a good, good quality. And for that, it is very important that we should identify the potential problem which can occur in the future or we can do the task quickly before the problem appears. Now I will more, uh, in terms of testing, I will explain the role and activities in the Agile team. So you, as you can see, I have actually made three circles which says what is the interaction of each role among the three different you can say dom person who are actually working in a team. So a programmer actually program, he also gives some information to the tester. A domain guy who writes or a business guy who actually writes the business or the functional requirements and it also gives job transfer to tester. So testing is one of the most important part of the agile team because Tester is the person who is actually in interaction with both the guys because he has to understand the business requirement correctly, then talk to the programmer that he is actually making the right thing and then verify that okay he made the right thing what he he or the business guys are specified for. So tester is always a very very important person in the agile methodology or in, in the agile team. Uh, there is an agile manifesto also. Uh, individuals and interaction over process and tools. So this is the very important thing which I was always talking in the whole uh, webinar that the individuals and the interaction is very very important. So communication is one of the major role of the agile methodology. It is very very important that you speak up about your problems as quickly as possible and get it resolved as quickly as possible. In Agile methodology, we 
more emphasis on working software over comprehensive documentation.